Hello guys, and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to do some simple shapes for walls covering in Blender. This should be fun to learn, so before we start, like the video, subscribe, and let's see what we have. With a new Blender file, start with a simple plane, hit Shift A to add it from the mesh, and press N to open the side panel. There we can change the dimensions for it. Maybe go with something like 0.4 as a squared surface. After that, in edit mode, go with face selection, select the plane, and choose the poke faces option from the right mouse button. This should add a vertex at center. Then we can inset all four triangles in this shape to get those four points. So hit the I key twice for individual inset and move it to any distance inside. Once you're done with the last step, select those four edges and hit Ctrl-X to delete them without affecting the mesh. Now we can go back to vertex selection. Highlight everything by hitting the A key, then press M to check for duplicated vertices. Shouldn't have any here, but it's a process better done after the work we did. The M is for the merge command. Use the distance option on its default value and check at bottom if any vertices were deleted. Now we can select the four new vertices, maybe use scale to change the spacing between them and the center, and at the end, move them up a bit to give the shape some depth. This should be one wall panel, and we can duplicate it with the array modifier, so let's add an array over this, check the merge option in it, and change the count number to fit your wall on the X direction. Another array is needed for the other direction, so add a new one on the Y, enable the merge in it, and fix the count number to your pleasure. I will turn on the viewport cavity just to show it better. This works only in solid mode, and it's just to help view your work better. You can at the end add a frame using a plane or a cube, and use the snap tool on vertices mode to sweep it around the array we did. Nothing fancy here, just simple shape moving with the G key and the E key for face extrusion. wood texture should go nice on this one, and it might look like this or even better with your work. So do the thing you want. I did convert the objects to mesh just to apply the array in a fast way. I will hit Ctrl J to join the array with the frame we added last, then merge by distance to check if there's any duplicate vertices. I can finish this with a bevel modifier, and you should apply scale on the shape to get the accurate edge chamfering. So in object mode, hit Ctrl A and apply scale. Easy, right? This should be fun to do in interior walls or cover an area that looks boring in your scene. For the next shape, let's go with a mesh circle. So add one from the Shift A menu. Once you add it, we can change the circle shape from the bottom pop-up menu to hexagon or octagon or any other shape you want. I will go with eight vertices for an octagon shape. We can also rotate it to keep half of the shape on the main axis. So in the Z rotation, we need it to rotate 22.5 degree. After that, we can make the type on Ngon to fill the shape as a surface then assign a smaller radius to this. Something around 0.3 meters should do fine. Now you can work with this as edges, but the thing we need is easier with face extrusion. So I will add a random thickness to this with extrude, then select the four faces directed toward the main axis and extrude them to outside by 0.4 along their normal from the right mouse button menu.
The other four ones will go out by half the last extrusion, which is 0 0.2. 1. you're done, you can select the top faces alone, hit Ctrl I to invert selection, then delete the bottom parts beside the top surface. Now let's play with this shape a bit. Select two of the long outer extrusion's edges and move them down by 0 0.1 on the Z axis. The opposite one on the long extrude will go up by the same amount. For the short extrusion, I will select them all one by one and rotate the outer edge by 90 degree. To do the rotation, I need the rotation wheel from the tools bar, press T if it's not showing, and to fix the rotation axis, we can change the orientation to normal, so it rotates based on the edge we select. Now with this, I can rotate on the X, which is the red wheel, and fix the rotation value in the pop-up menu, then do the same thing for the remaining three edges on the short extrusion we made. Once you're done with all that mess, and while we are in edit mode, hit A to highlight all and press Shift D to make a copy of this shape. Move the copy to the side a bit, flip it with the mirror command on the Y axis, or the one you have showing at top on your work view, then snap it back to the original shape at the short edge area. We can go back to object mode, and the two shapes should be one object. So now to the array, my dear friend. But again, since we did some magic work with rotation and scale, apply all transformation this time from the Control A menu in object mode, and it should array it on the normal axis. We need two array modifiers on both axes, and the distance should go around 0.668 for the numbers we used. But you can go manual to figure out the distance you need because we will merge the vertices and weld any overlapping ones. Once you're done with the array, apply it, then use the subdivision surface modifier on this pattern to make it look organic. Some of the array parts are disconnected from each other's, that cause of the duplicate vertices. To fix this, go back to edit mode, select all vertices, and hit M to merge by distance. Then adjust the merge distance value until they look attached together. The normals in this shape is also messed up, maybe from the flip we did anyhow. Once you see a weird shaded area, either weld vertices to fix it or recalculate the normal on the entire shape. This looks fine by now, we can shade smooth it and even drop on it a solidify modifier for some thickness, cause thick is always better, if you know what I mean. You can also use the bend modifier or the spin tool to make it fit an exterior corner covering, but I recommend doing that before the subdivision, the rest are just your to play with. And that's all for today. Remember to like and sub cause why not, and spread the joy to your family chat group, they might kick you out at last. See you next time, stay sharp, goodbye.